This story is brought to us by EastIdahoNews.com. Out of Idaho, and it's showing us out of Boise, Idaho, this is really a state question from Idaho. And I'm bringing you to this one simply because, you know, a lot of times when a state does something, other states follow. Um, Colorado said, we're going to make marijuana legal. You can now smoke marijuana just like you would smoke cigarettes. California says, hey, that's a good idea. And then other states now are following. So I wanted to bring you this one from Idaho. It just has an interest if you think maybe other states will follow. What am I talking about here? Well, when a law enforcement officer pulls you over for a traffic stop in Idaho, are you legally required to give them your mobile phone if asked? They pull you over for a traffic stop, you're, maybe even your recording, and they say, I want to look at your phone. Give it here. I'm going to look through your phone. Well, here's what to know about in Idaho. And again, you're saying, that's Idaho, dude. Who cares about Idaho? Again, you, you know how politicians are, and you know how lawmakers are and so forth and they're looking at this they could say you know what let's do that what am i talking about the fourth amendment protects people from re unreasonable searches by government officials including police officers but there's still a caveat <clears throat> the fourth amendment however according to u.s government is not a guarantee against all searches and seizures but only those that are deemed unreasonable under the law so, up until the Supreme Court case in 2014, it was still unclear whether the Fourth Amendment protected you, your digital content. It's like your cell phone, your laptop, your iPad. But Riley versus California, which concerned officers searching a suspect's phone without a warrant and submitting that evidence to court, ultimately found that the police infringed upon Riley's Fourth Amendment rights. Yeah, it's absolutely true. Police must have a search warrant that specifies the need to search for information on a telephone or other electronic device, laptop, iPad, before they can search your phone. They have to have a warrant. Hey, can I search your phone? No. That's your car, too, by the way. If a cop has the need to come to you and say, can we search through your vehicle? No. Because if they're asking, they may not have probable cause. Otherwise, they'd say, we're going to search your vehicle. We're going to look through it. We're, I'm not asking. I'm telling you what we're going to do. You know, they would do that. But when they say, is it okay if I search through your vehicle? No. Stop telling these cops, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I guess. No, the answer is no. I think Nancy Reagan said it. Just say no. <clears throat> However, there are a few instances where police can search your phone without a warrant. Exigent circumstances. Now, exigent means they can just do it. Uh, like an exigent circumstance, a felon who just shot somebody runs into a house and slams a door. Cops can just go right through that door. That's called exigent, exigent circumstance. But these are instances where police can conduct a warrantless search based on reasonable determinations, such as when there is a need to prevent the destruction of evidence or a threat to public safety. Reasonable. Although there have been no cases in Idaho involving a warrantless mobile phone search, the state has had multiple cases in which exigent circumstances were used to conduct a search. And I guess they're questionable. In Idaho versus Carlos Blancos, Jesus uh, John Carlos Blancos had his blood drawn without a warrant by hospital staff against his will under the instruction of an Idaho state police sergeant who suspected Carlos Blancos of driving under the influence. That's another one where they come up with the Fourth Amendment. It's questionable. Can they just draw your blood? Can they just say, you know, we're drawing your blood. We think you're drunk. Or do they need a warrant? Or are there exigent circumstances?
The court held that the warrantless blood draw violated Carlos Blanco's Fourth Amendment rights because the state failed to prove there was insufficient time to obtain a warrant. They still had time to get a warrant. Therefore, throwing the evidence out. And if that's the only evidence they had on this guy, he just walked away. <clears throat> of course, a police officer can also search your phone without a warrant if you consent to them conducting the search. And that's where people don't know their rights. They think when an officer asks them, hey, I'm going to search. Sometimes they'll ask in kind of a, um, a statement more than a question. I'm going to search your phone. Yeah. And, okay. Yeah. Do you think you have to? Okay. The cop's telling you what he's going to do. You say, no, no. You're not searching my phone. You don't have a warrant. I'm educating here. <clears throat> Even if you think they have probable cause, just utter it. No, you're not searching it. And if they say, oh, yeah, we are, you can at least say, I told them no, and it's on record. If the police search your phone without a warrant or qualifying exigent circumstances, you can file a motion to get the evidence dismissed in court. The judge can decide to toss out any evidence and information gathered from an illegal search. But again, cops get your consent because a lot of people don't know their rights. And then when they go to court, the cop goes, well, he gave me consent. He said, yeah, you can do it. And you just screwed the pooch. Stepped on your wiener. No, you say, no, you can't search. Oh, no, we're searching. No, you're not. And they search anyway. And then let's say your attorney, if it's a public defender or a personal attorney or whoever, in court, he subpoenas that body cam information. And then on the body camera, you're saying, no, I, you're not searching. Then maybe the judge can throw it out. Never know. So always, 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 when a cop says, I'm going to search, no, 